and today i will be doing review of my daughter mm, small monica yeah i'll be telling you guys about her everything about her from birth to this 11 years so stay tuned hello everyone it's your girl monica lobo lobo aka shine your shine alias the people's choice the leader that lead another follow i talk about this afternoon <laughs> yes so this daughter of mine that we are talking about this afternoon is no other person is my monica adesua esoe obey ajala yes so, so and she's also sagedua let me not forget that one because my mother gave it to her when she was seven young okay so uh, who is Monica? This is my daughter. Mm -hmm. This Monica, my daughter, she's somebody everybody say she look like you, she look like you. But actually, me, I don't see the resemblance that much. I don't see guys. I don't know because of the mother. Because she actually looked like my mother. She has the same forehead like my mother. And she doesn't have my forehead at all. My forehead is, you know, is brain. And her forehead is like this. But all the same, a lot of people said we look alike. And again, we don't have the same mouth. My mouth is like this. And her mouth is kind of like this and we don't have the same face i don't know <laughs> even our eyes i believe we have different eyes but all the same you a lot of people that watch us said we both look alike that she's my little twin okay then i will be talking about some of our character you guys don't know and let's see if there's anything okay and she's 11 years old. She was 11 years old by July. As you all know, we also share the same um, um, months of birth and very close date of birth. I am 15 July and she is 16 July. Actually, daughter said... I will be giving birth on my birthday, which is 15 July, but somehow destiny chose for her and she was born 16 July. And the name, a lot of people always get this confused. Like they are calling me uh, um, Monica because, or Mommy Monica, because i my daughter name is called monica actually not my name is also monica and i gave her monica when i gave birth to her because my family we both share almost the same name okay if you follow us you know our name that they have the same name ambrosia took her father's name and monica took my name and jibber took as usual boys junior of the house okay that's she's 11 years old and she is the she's the kind of 11 years old that behave like 15 16 years old which i huge i really don't find funny at first because she didn't just start like this, even when she was small. At the age of five years old, people were already thinking, is she eight, is she ten? One, she was very big. She grew uh, two more than her age. And at the same time, she was also very mature than her age. And, you know, she was just that thing. We black color tapia 
okay where does she get that type of thing from some people will say oh she's like a mother for me i was not like this when i was small i was the quiet type i can't even defend myself i quiet 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 until you can actually get away away with a lot of things that you do to me but in monica case my daughter you don't get away easily in short you don't get away with her like that like you want to give her some attitude and you get away no it doesn't matter your age it doesn't matter the situation she have answer to all thing yeah <laughs> it might surprise you but that is who she is right from child okay a kind of person uh she like people a lot she love peace she don't like violence she don't like fighting in as much as she's very ready for it she you know some children don't like fighting because they are not really like they are not also ready for it they don't have the strength to do it monica is not that type of child at all monica is the type that love that 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 love peace but if you give it to her she will give it to you double she always said that <laughs> she didn't learn it from me mm -mm, i don't know she was like the right from child though <laughs> so when she comes when she started talking and all that hey she will just do some kind of attitude you just say you are like where's this child from god she will tell you if you do it with me i will give it to you double and that is true <laughs> and she hate bullying monica don't like bully she don't like to be bullied and she don't want to be in this space where somebody else bully another person she can take it over mm, monica can buy people people matter over mm, because she doesn't like it at all and she's not the child that is scared she respect but she's not scared and you can use respect to intimidate her you know we africans we have this um we have this um character like someone is older than you because of that they can get away with some certain attitude with monica no you, not even me the more that can get away with such attitude eg like maybe i will just be lying down there you know our africa things now i would say ah monica come on, on television for me and she's like and you are there why can't you own it yourself i'm like the the remote is dead please come and help me she will say, if you like, put 100, please, please, please. Just get up. You have your own leg. You know those type of things that normally I get away with them with the rest of my children. They, uh, my first daughter might say, huh? But the remote is there with her. I say, please help me to do it. And she will just do it. With Monica, no way. Talk to the aunt. She will tell you, you do it yourself. The remote is there. Why do you want to use somebody else? Why do you always like to be behaving like all oh, this African mama? No, you don't do that with me. She will not do it. And yeah, in a way, she's right. You see, that's why I say there are a lot of stuff you don't get away with her. Okay? But she's nice. She's kind, she's very helpful, but she don't want you to get away with some kind of attitude with her and call it is we Africa. Mm -mm. Okay. She loves to play. She play a lot. She play like a boy. Yes. Why that? Why do Monica play like a boy? I think, yeah, everybody with the kind of thing God just born you with. You understand i i can't say uh was she am i the one that brought her up like that no i have two children already before monica came a boy and a girl before monica came monica just choose a part in the midst of those two children she choose j boy she prefer to play with my son than ambrosia because the girl my daughter I don't want to mention the rest people name because I will be doing their own separately. So my first daughter is the type that is so quiet. 
So Monica came and chose the one that is so busy. She loves to be busy, so she kind of play with a boy and love boy game. Sometimes I call her a tomboy because she can do all those things boys do. She, ca she can't be intimidated, just as I said just now, even by boys. If you give her attitude, she give you attitude. Like, seriously. <laughs> oh my God. Monica is the type that loves to make friends. She can make friends right now and drop the friend right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she get that attitude from too, but she's the type she can... In a place, do Monica make friend easily? Actually, yes, no. I would say yes, no, because when she got to new place, you always like, okay, like this is starting, but mm -hmm, she wants you. <laughs> you know that attitude. And if she make that friend and she find out that you are not a type, pump, she drop you immediately. Oh my God, I'll say, why didn't you just pray? No, she don't have time for that. But if she's someone that, that is friendly, she's very, very, very friendly. She had this friend she made from uh, primary school, like from um, daycare and until now. Both of them went to the same primary school and until now they are like this. Like when I say tango with each other, yeah, this it's a white girl. Does Monica really have good relationship with our colored children? I don't know if because I don't have much in my area. I don't have colored children much in my area. I have a uh, colored uh, children of boys. I don't have colored children we guess in my area at all. I don't know if that is the reason why my children don't have good good relationship with colored girls. Okay, you know what I mean by color girl like us. So they are not really good with color girl, but if it's like you know, white people, they are very, very good. Food. Monica used to love food. Like seriously, when she was a baby, this girl loved food. She eat like a boy. She eat like a boy. I'm telling you. She used to tell her father early in the morning like this if she wants to tell us she's hungry she want to make she, because she she used to suck her hand she was just going to you pinch you in the bed and, and do you <laughs> it was very funny yes and when you don't make it quick it will tell you fuck you <laughs> something today we we still call her fuck you Okay, uh, Monica is a sportive girl. Mm, sportive girl. Mm, she can do it for school sport or if it's a must. But she's not really a sport person. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. She's not really, really a sportive person. It's not that she's trying to, to cope and to like imitate her sister. Okay. But actually, before she's the kind that we want to walk from year to year, and she start crying, "Papa, carry me, Papa, carry me." You know, we all it's a guy's name. We stick call her Papa, carry me because it was so fond of it. She can't even walk. She can't walk any meter. The next thing you are hearing, "Papa, carry me." You know, she's a very clever girl. She's very, very intelligent, very clever girl extremely clever right from the one thing today very good i've talked about bully before she's not uh, uh, oh my god i have appointment let me pause yes monica is very a spoken person she can express herself as small as she is she doesn't it doesn't matter where she can express herself very well. I've talked about her love. She loves a lot. She loves people. Do Monica have interest in boys? I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, who does Monica love more? Papa or Mama? Both. Because I, I said she's a peaceful child. 
and I can tell you Monica is um, is someone that bring, brought uh, peace more peace and love to us because right from baby she was small but she always separate like argument she would tell papa she would just push papa you go to the as small as she is she would say papa you go to the huh that's papa you go to the corridor and mama you shut up <laughs> because she knows that she cannot do that with me like mama you go to the corridor i will just say hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> But she would use it. She was small, eh? Like maybe four years. She would say, Mama, mm, Mama, you shut up. Papa, he will push Papa, push Papa away. She always do that. Oh my God. Sometimes we even play prank with her in the bed. And we will just be doing like this. We will know that hey, she don't like it. She will just come and slap Papa very well and slap me, push me like one time. But Papa he will slap Papa one, two, three, four, five. Say, Papa, five. Need do. Need Mama slap. Guys, don't hit Mama. But we are just pranking. So, Monica, love. Now that Papa is walking outside the country. Monica love Papa like crazy. Why? Because Papa always say yes. If you are glued to our family channel, you will know that my children always say, my pap Papa say yes. My husband say yes, 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 yes to them a lot. Not that he does stop them, but he understand them more like agreeing to all those things. Why me not? Me not. I'm not the easy type of mom. So sorry, guy. <laughs> It's not that I'm not understanding. I don't tell them yes, I do, but I'm not the type that can easily just say yes, 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 yes in everything. But Papa is so easy to say yes to them. They have their way more when it comes to Papa. Monica is a gamer. She loves game. She learned a lot from gaming. Robots is her favorite, and she has played a lot of games in the past. I really, really not a game mommy. I don't follow up but i just make sure that who and who she's playing it with you understand what she's playing inside but i don't really really that type of mom that follow up all those game thing but she's a game game she love game she have once show interest in playing uh, all this um race game and all this gta gta game even higher one with his brother okay with her brother but i'm not really that I, but she's a game girl too monica love to sing oh one day i'm going to video her i don't know if i can do it on this video maybe if she returned from school today she's singing i will just hide and record her because these days she have grown that she don't like camera paparazzi anymore she really don't like papa camera paparazzi but if it's necessary she'll say okay mom i will do it for you but i don't like that type of monica come on, come on. Mm -mm. do your thing i am not in your game <laughs> so i'm going to hide down uh, mm? kasha she's a singer she's good she can sing she can sing along and she she can do a lip bag i don't know what you guys call it in english like when a, a when music is playing and someone is doing alone she's very good monica can dance too but she's shy she don't want to dance outside she have never been to dancing school before her sister is in dancing um school so when her sister is practicing with all the music at home she usually do along and there was this thing uh, they were doing and forgot that game also where children used to do this thing they were good and i think through there she learned a step she can dance very well but the problem right now they don't want to show any of their talent to the world at all they just do it this <laughs> okay 
music she can sing she can dance she love music my children love music not only monica my children because my husband love music these children are used to music all their life right from stomach they hear music they love reggae music they can sing reggae music you won't believe these are children singing it why right from stomach my husband will say, bring your stomach, come, 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 let me come and play guitar and play music for my children. And really, you see them start moving from my stomach there. Okay, so they are really used to music and most especially reggae music. Do they love uh, my Bini music? My husband is, I don't know if I have to say that or not on social media <laughs> i always say he's a racist to Bini people not actually not in love Bini so much if my husband be not married Bini woman hmm. you understand but it, when i play music he will always come and say come on to say my any music that i'm playing is to say him i don't know maybe be like saying now uh, it's like during Usegi Ma time. Now my husband for come abroad. So not only Usegi Ma, now he just know about Bini music. When I play Bini music, he will say, you are playing Usegi Ma again. Remove it. And I've never played Usegi Ma. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Any Bini music is Usegi Ma. Then later, during the time of our wedding, now learn another one. Betty, 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 Willie, Ileluwa, they... If you list it to when they make one video, you will see say, say hey, Leluwa <laughs> That one there, you know. And they go out when they stop. If I'm playing my Bini music, it will stop it. Don't play it for my children. Don't play it for my children. You understand? So, my children, now they grow. They don't like Bini music. Anytime they play Bini music, they are like, they are upstairs. They leave me downstairs. They are like, Mama, don't start a gig. <laughs> but if it's reggae music and they are coming back from school, you see them start singing it and kind of moving along. They are really used to, used to it. I don't know. Is there anything I didn't say? Is there anything I didn't say? But... Monica, my children. So the next review is going to be my song. This is the life of my daughter at 11 years. Do I have um, a, a difficult time difficult time with her? Usually not, except these days that she complains a lot. She doesn't like to do um, choice at home at all. Like, take the plate from dishwasher. She will say, what have you been doing at home this morning? I'll say, you know I work. Because you meet me at home does not mean that I'll be at home this morning. You help. So these days, I try to share it like, Monday is for you, Tuesday is for the other one, Wednesday is for the other one. Sometimes it doesn't still work. I just do everything. And uh, she's the type that always do her ass work. Yes, I, I don't have problem. Tisha has never called me to complain anything about her at school. I'm very happy and privileged with that. Then she's also uh, 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 the type of child you don't wake up yourself. I'm also very happy with that. I can't give myself kudos for that. Like I, I, I taught them how to do it. I think it was only Ambrosia I did. The rest just cash up themselves. Although J Boy is still, you know, boys children. Ha! Let me wait in. I'm doing boys children. Oh. But with Monica, she always wake up early with that alarm she just do it herself and she's very 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 good she dress herself up she's very um uh, i don't know this word in english very independent she's independent child she does everything herself and she can also cook like indomie she can fry egg she can make toast bread. She can make chocolate for herself. She can make cold one, hot one. And she can make some kind of cookies. Although she spoiled a lot of my thing, waste a lot of my 
ingredient but she can do it and also recently she just learned how to make a panic cook pancake in english we call it panic cook in endala she just learned how to make it at school and she have made it now two times for our evening food and it was so good i love it and she can also fry patates which is flea chips in english and she can also fry dodo and she can boil water further she don't have interest and and sometimes she helped me to take the drum outside sometimes very rare she doesn't want to do nothing but i don't blame her i blame myself because i didn't start on time but even at night i think i'm not late because she's just 11 years so um it's now that i'm really like okay do this do this do this i know some of you might not like it that why must she do something at all why must she do she's just 11 years old yeah that is we africa we don't just allow child to grow like that you must learn some few things at home okay um me monica i want my children to learn like my daughter, my first daughter, when I would talk about her, you see that she's a very different child from this world. And Monica is also. Which one do I love most among my children? Ha, ah, Jesus, this is difficult. I can't tell you I love this one most. I love, I love all of this in a special way. For Monica, she has this, I have soft, this soft space in my heart for her. I cannot tell you, I love her more than all my children, but I love her very, very much. She has one space, one soft space in my heart because she's my kind of person in some ways. Now that I'm adult, she's my kind of person. I like the way she wrote my Abby. <laughs> and she's smart and she's very... Uh, trouble she has never brought trouble to us in any way so i'm happy with my daughter monica thank you for watching and see you guys some other time stay tuned please introduce our family channel to your friends a lot are coming bye